combo, Rafikis! That means hello, friends. I'm up. And I'm Adam. And up, we've been having so much fun on this safari. We have. We've been learning so many things about God's Word, the Bible. Yep. And today, we're talking about God's story. Oh, of- oh hey. I have a story. Okay. There was this one time that I saw this little crazy monkey playing in the dirt. And he turned and he looked right at me. And he picked up some dirt and he was looking at me like he was going to throw it. And I was like, no, because I was wearing a new safari vest. And I didn't want him to throw dirt on my new safari vest. But then you know what he did? That little monkey threw the dirt right at me. Uh, up. that is a really funny story. But today we're talking about God's story, not your story. Oh, the Bible. Yeah. Did you know the whole Bible is God's story about how much he loves you and me? Yeah. All the way from the beginning in Genesis to the end in Revelation, we see God loving his people. So let me break that down for you guys. The Bible is a ginormous love story all about God's love for you and me. And we feel God's love when we read the Bible and do what it says. Hey Adam, I have an idea. Instead of just talking about God's love story, let's actually take a walk through it. Great idea. Let's go! Dude. Sweet dress. It's a tunic. It all began when God created the heavens and the earth and everything that's in it. And then he created Adam and Eve. He created them in his image and told Adam and Eve they could rule over all creatures. He loved them the most. We can see that same love for us when we look all around us. Yeah, like in amazing sunsets and really cool trees to climb. And then came a giant flood. Whoa, that's a lot of rain. Don't worry. A guy named Noah built an ark to keep his family and two of every animal safe. Oh, that's awesome. Ooh, look at all these awesome stars. Those are from the story of Abraham. God told Abraham he would have as many descendants as the stars. Whoa, that would be hard to count. I know, right? One of those descendants was named Moses. He was the leader of all the Israelites and led them through the desert for 40 years. 40 years? That's longer than I've been alive. As the Israelites were traveling through the desert, the food ran out and the people were so hungry. God sent bread down from heaven like rain. It was called manna. This story reminds me that God shows his love for us by giving us everything we need. Let's keep going. Oh look! We've got judges like Samson. That was one tough dude. Yeah, and there are all the kings of Israel. Like David. That's right. And look, the prophets. Like Micah. Their job was to give people instructions from God and tell everyone that Jesus was coming. Now we're in the New Testament. Let's pick up the pace. God loves us so much that he sent his son to be the savior of the world. Wow, that's a whole lot of love. Yeah, you betcha. While Jesus was here on earth, he made a group of friends called disciples. Jesus and his disciples went out and did amazing things. Like telling others about God and performing miracles. But then the time came for Jesus to die on the cross. Look, there it is. Jesus died on the cross to fix our friendship with God and take the punishment for all the wrong things that we do. But Jesus didn't stay dead. Three days later, God brought him back to life. God sent his son Jesus to die on the cross and come back to life because he loves us. This was God's ultimate act of love for us. After hanging around for 40 days, Jesus went back to heaven to be with God. The disciples knew they needed to tell the whole world about what had happened. Everyone needed to know who Jesus was and how much God loved them. The disciples spread the good news by telling as many people as they could about Jesus and they even did more miracles. One time, Peter and John saw a man that couldn't walk, and he's begging for money. They told him, we don't have money for you, but we will give you what we can. And all of a sudden, the man was healed. The man was so excited that he started jumping and singing praises to God because he could walk. God healed him. That's another way that God can show us his love for us. Look, there's Revelation. So bright. This is the last book in the Bible. In this book, we see where one of Jesus' disciples, John, had an amazing dream about heaven. God loves us so much and he promises us that if we believe in him, we will spend forever with him in heaven. Uh, sign me up. Me too. Well, that was a sweet journey through the Bible. Let's high five back to the safari. Woo! 
The Bible sure is an awesome story about God's love for us. Sure is. I felt the love all the way from Genesis to Revelation. Feeling the love, bro. Oh no! Look what time it is! Oh, we're two minutes late for our race with the cheetahs! Gear up, bro!